My name is Crystal Jolly Washington, and I am the Children's Librarian at Sherwood Forest Branch of the Detroit Public Library. This month, I have selected 10 books that are sure to get you reading. Our first book is for very young readers, babies and toddlers. It is Sea Touch Field Farm by Pretty Books. This book is very special because it is a sensory book where the babies can touch different parts of the page and feel different surfaces. Our next book is also for young readers, but it's very special because this is a tummy time book. So the baby, as they're on their tummies, can look at the expanded pages and see the high contrast, so it's easy for them to see the imagery. Our next book is for our soon-to-be kindergartners, and this book is by Bethany Freitas. This book is special because this book gives kindergartners a confidence so that they are aware that a lot of the things that they are already doing now will prepare them to be successful in kindergarten. The author also has helpful tips at the back to help you prepare your child for school. Our next book is a classic, one of my favorites, and this is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This book is great because it has simple yet beautiful illustrations and it has a surprise at the end. This is a must read. Our next book is also for young readers and this is Con Pollo by Jimmy Fallon and Jennifer Lopez. It is a bilingual story time and it is an awesome read aloud that's funny and it introduces Spanish vocabulary of fun things that kids like to do, like play and have fun and play uh, football. Our next one is The Pigeon Has to Go to School. And this is by one of my favorite author, authors, Mo Willems. In this hilarious story, the pigeon is so overwhelmed about going to school because he's not sure what, what will happen. But by the end of the story, he is so excited about school that he rushes to the bus. So read this hilarious story to find out what makes him so excited about school. Our next book is Worry, Worry Well in the Classroom Jitters by Deborah Dietzen. And this is a great story to let little kiddos know that it is okay to have feelings of anxiety or worry about your first day of school. But it also provides a good solution on how you can overcome those feelings. Great read. Our next book is for a little bit older children. This book is for children who um, are starting to read on their own. I would recommend kindergarten, possibly the third grade, depending on their reading level. And this is Pete the Kitty's Outdoor Art Project by Kimberly and James Dean. In this story, Pete the Cat has to do a project. He's done many art projects, but this time he has to use nature. He's not sure if he can even, if he will even like it. So in this story, he learns that he can use his friends and his teachers for inspiration to try new things. Next up, we have an early chapter book, and this is for our readers who are reading on their own and want to challenge themselves a little bit more. So this is for grades uh, one to three. And this is the first in a series, Mia Mayhem is a Superhero. Now, she goes to regular school, but she finds out that she has superpowers. So now she has to go to a superhero school. This is a great book about how to overcome self-doubt and embrace learning new things. Our last book is Billy and the Many Monsters, Monsters Go to School. In this story, Billy has four mini monsters and they sneak into his backpack. Can you imagine what kind of day they'll have? Well, they help him solve a problem. Thank you all for tuning in for the top 10 books to read this month. I am Crystal Jolly Washington, and keep reading.